Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to Horsepower Obsessed. Today, we get the first glimpse of the fact that the C8 Z06 exists, and it may actually be here even sooner than originally thought. All right, guys, so we've talked about the Z06 on this channel quite a bit. The C8 Z06 is likely to be a huge freaking monster, and it's more than likely going to improve on the C8 Stingray's performance by quite a bit. And if that's the case, we are definitely looking at an insane performer. Not just that, it is also very likely to be an even more attractive car. So to build on the C8 Stingray's frame, make it more aerodynamic, lower to the ground, a little bit wider, that's typically what the Z06 does, as well as jam some more horsepower in that guy. Right off the bat, the Z06 has always been the performance model for Corvette, while the ZR1 takes it to an even more extreme level. The Z06 typically copies a lot of the previous generation ZR1 features. Now, in this case, that's definitely not a bad thing. The C7 ZR1, as you guys know, is a monster in itself. So whenever I see certain things popping up stating that the C8 Z06 is going to have, I kind of compare it to what the C7 ZR1 had. And in this case, it's exactly the same. So just to jump right into it, guys, there was a leaked image from GM showing a bunch of C8 steering wheels covered in carbon fiber. And there is a badge at the bottom that looks like stamped aluminum of some kind that has three digits on it. It's a little difficult to see, but the steering wheel in the lower left-hand corner really looks like it says Z06. Now, like I said, typically the Z06 of the new generation borrows some design elements from the previous generation ZR1. And if you guys remember right, the C7 ZR1 had a steering wheel that looked very similar to this. Carbon fiber at the top and carbon fiber at the bottom to give it that extra race-inspired look. In this case, we also get the center line at the top still, and at the bottom, we got that stamped badge. The picture isn't the highest resolution, so I can't quite clearly see what it says, but it very much so looks like it says Z06 to me. Now, in this picture, you can actually see in red writing, it says destructive testing, which suggests that the photo could have been taken anywhere along the line between one of General Motors suppliers and the government test facilities. Likely what this means, the Z06 is already being tested and these wheels were in the test vehicles or in this case, at least going on to the test vehicles. Like I said, guys, this means the Z06 is more than likely gonna be here even sooner than originally thought. I was told whenever the C8 Stingray first came out that we were looking at between 18 and 22 months before the Z06 would be available. Now I'm thinking they're actually gonna announce this maybe as early as spring 2020 to of course be a model for 2021. This leaked image from GM showing the steering wheel with carbon fiber on the top and bottom actually only comes a little bit after a leaked drawing showing what looked like a Z06 setup. GM actually came out and said that that particular drawing was just one of their early designs and it didn't necessarily indicate a Z06 model. But that only happened two days ago. Now we're getting this image as well, and this is obviously a real life in-person image, not a drawing. So now I start to wonder, what's Chevy really up to? Of course, they're not gonna flat out tell us, hey, yeah, this is for the Z06. Don't worry about buying the Stingray, wait for this one. But now with the real image showing the steering wheel, we know it's real. This has to be for the Z06. Now, as you guys know, there isn't a whole lot of confirmed information about the Z06. The fact that it exists hasn't even been confirmed from GM. But there's a lot of rumors suggesting that the engine for the Z06 could be a twin cam V8 with that flat plane crankshaft. There was also another rumor saying the same engine with a twin turbo setup. Either way, the number 700 has been thrown around quite a bit. So if this car comes out with more aerodynamic bits and a wider stance, wider tires, 700 horsepower, and it ends up looking like any of the renderings, this car is gonna be absolutely mind blowing. There was a lot of carbon fiber options for the C8 Stingray as well, and with this one getting even more on the steering wheel, it's gonna have a plethora of carbon fiber, and that's never a bad thing. One additional rumor for the Z06 was, of course, a modified version of the 4.2 liter Cadillac Blackwing V8. We've talked about this a lot in the past because that rumor has been kicked around for almost a year now. The Z06 C8 could have that Blackwing Edition V8, only slightly modified so they don't actually have to call it a Blackwing. 
Because as you guys know, Cadillac came out and flat out said, Chevy will never use this Blackwing. No one will outside of Cadillac. There's a really easy way around that though. You take that Blackwing engine, change a couple little things on it, and now it's a different engine. So that's very possibly what Chevy could do with the Z06 if they decide to use the Blackwing variant. Now with Chevy testing the Z06, obviously producing these steering wheels that look like they're very high quality, there's a good chance that Chevy has already started on possibly even currently testing the ZR1 version as well. But we haven't seen any evidence of that yet, so we will just stick with the Z06 here. The fact that these steering wheels are done and laid out in perfect looking carbon fiber tells me they're a lot closer to putting this car on the road than you may think. Now, like I said, the C7 ZR1 has a steering wheel that looks very similar to that. I'm gonna actually put an image in right here. As you can see, they did the same kind of thing with the carbon fiber at the top and the carbon fiber at the bottom. The Z06 C8 is obviously borrowing some design elements from the ZR1 of the last generation, which is nothing new. The Z06 typically takes design elements from the previous ZR1 all the time. The C7 Z06 definitely took design elements from the C6 ZR1 with carbon ceramic rotors, six piston Brembo brakes, a lot of options for carbon fiber, and a supercharged engine. The C7 Z06 was the first one with a supercharged engine for a couple different reasons. That was one of the only ways they could actually match or even come close to the horsepower that the C6 ZR1 had in the C7 Z06. So it's not abnormal that they would follow the same kind of line here. Now, these steering wheels look phenomenal. I don't know what you guys might think of them, but the steering wheel in the C8 is already actually a pretty nice design. Originally, I didn't care for it, but after seeing it in person, it is a fantastic looking wheel. Add some carbon fiber on there and a nice painted center line. This is gonna be fantastic. I'm really digging that badge down at the bottom too. It looks like it's actually pressed into the carbon fiber and it's a stamped aluminum badge. How awesome is that? I know what you guys are thinking, oh man, this guy's going crazy over a steering wheel. But at the end of the day, what this steering wheel represents is what I'm getting crazy over. The Z06 is so close that they're literally designing the steering wheel. It has to mean the car is coming much sooner than we thought. And seeing this in the flesh, so to speak, just confirms we're gonna get this car soon and I can't freaking wait. The C8 Stingray isn't even out yet for us to actually own and I'm already pumped about the Z06. Anyway guys, that's gonna do it for this video. If you liked what you saw, give me a big thumbs up. If you have any questions about the C8 in any one of its models, shoot them in the comment section down below or send me an email, horse.power.obsessed at gmail.com and I'll be happy to answer anything you may have. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I have loads of C8 content coming soon. Hopefully some more Z06 stuff coming real quick. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next upload.